Hey guys, 7th here, coming at you with another 10-minute taste. Now, you've been complaining about me taking too long on my 10-minute taste. Well, this time I'm going to cut one short to 6.5 minutes, because that's all I'm going to need to talk about this game. Now, PlayStation Plus had two new releases this month, but today we're looking at Counter Spy. The other release was Valiant Hearts. We'll look at it later on down the line. Counter Spy is a side-scrolling action game that mixes stealth with some quasi-third-person cover space shooting and uh, some exploration. It's got a very indie comic look to it, very stylized. The music has a kind of 60s kitsch feel to it. It sounds like something you'd hear out of one of those old 60s spy slash subtle comedy shows like I Spy or The Man from Uncle, that kind of thing. Almost giving it a bit of an Austin Powerish feel, although obviously not that over the top with it. Overall, if I could sum the whole game up in one sentence, I would probably say that it's a mixture of a game like Shadow Complex on the 360 with Rolling Thunder, that old arcade game. It's not a Metroidvania style game per se. There's not a huge overworld map that is all interconnected. It's mission based, so it's level based, but each mission has several subsections and there are multiple planes to each level. So you have to explore if you really want to get far into the game because you have to look for weapon schematics and missile schematics and extra money for purchasing various items and you're only going to find those things if you explore every nook and cranny of the level. That's where more of the challenge comes in because each level is covered with security cameras that you have to blow up and of course the more silently you can kill the enemy the better. You have a meter, a DEFCON meter, up at the top middle of the screen and what happens with that is the more you're seen the higher that meter goes. If it gets too high, you've pretty much fucked yourself. Yes, you can do a lot of gun-based killing in this game. That's why the third-person cover-based mechanic is there, after all. And you will have your fair share of blowing people up by exploding red barrels, of course, because this is a video game. But if you let that threat level get too high, the next thing you know either it's just mission fail or you're getting surrounded by enemies too numerous and coming from too many different angles for you to be able to kill them all so it's got a balance that you have to stick to where you're mixing the shooting with the stealth and finding that balance is the key to being successful in this title graphics are beautiful it's simple it's stylized but it's pretty to look at it's like a indie comic book come to life the gameplay and the controls are really responsive. Everything's really tight. If you die, it's not going to be because the controls weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. Everything works really well. And the mixture of the stealth kills plus the third-person cover-based shooting and trying to avoid the cameras and what have you, it's just a really nice mix, and you'll find yourself having a lot of fun with this title. It's not super overly long, per se, but again, it harkens back to some of these old arcade games like Rolling Thunder, which Rolling Thunder, if you were good at it, you could get through the whole game in about a half an hour to 45 minutes. So that's not how long it's going to take you to get through this game. It'll take you longer than that, I think. But it also encourages exploration. It encourages replay because there's collectibles to find. There's upgrades to get. So overall, there's a lot of time that you can put into this game. So from that perspective alone, I'd have to say that Counter Spy is well worth the investment if you don't have a PlayStation Plus account. If you do have a PlayStation Plus account, you have no fucking excuse. You should have already downloaded this game already and been halfway through it by now. That's how good it is. And I will admit, usually I keep up in the news about games that are coming out, both retail and indie. And this one had slipped my radar. I had not heard of this game. And so I logged on to PlayStation Plus a few days ago, and there it was. Hadn't read anything about it, hadn't seen anything about it, hadn't watched any trailers for it, nothing, nada. I was a pure intellectual virgin towards this game's existence. And so it was a real pleasant surprise for me because I love finding out 
about games that I haven't really heard anything about, and I sit down and play it, and it's just like the greatest thing ever. Which, you know, this game's not perfect. By paying homage to a bygone era, they brought along with it the fact that it can be a bit repetitive. That's the one drawback to it. But overall, I was really surprised and uh, am happy with this title. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm probably going to replay it multiple times because it's just it's got the right kind of mix for me. So this one gets a thumbs up for me. If you guys haven't downloaded it yet, you definitely need to download Counter Spy. It's a lot of fun. Tomorrow I'll be throwing up a retro review, and we're going to have two AAA release reviews next week. Until then, this is 7th.